It's the Burner, man. Back with Burner Talks. And it seems like the New York Knicks are very serious about the whole Carl Anthony Towns era in New York City. Before we get into what I mean, it'd be greatly appreciated if you guys could hit that like button and subscribe if you're new, if you love NBA takes and NBA news. But pretty much Patrick Ewing now being a part of the New York Knicks organization means he can guide and mentor Carl Anthony Towns. So pretty much since getting Carl Anthony Towns, uh, Patrick Ewing will be part of the New York Knicks uh, staff. Pretty much with this right here, I think this is big. I think this is a big W, me, in my opinion. You guys let me know in the comment section. But the thing is with Carl Anthony Towns, Carl Anthony Towns, when it comes to big men, he's up there with – he's pretty skilled. He's up there, in my opinion, up there with the Embiid's, with the Chokers, with the ADs. The only thing with him is – he settles too much and he plays a little bit too much like a guard. For example, you know, a couple years ago, you had the whole MB thing where he would just settle sometimes and shoot a lot of threes. And you'd be like, bro, like nobody can stop you. Why are you shooting all these threes where you're bailing the defense out? And the same thing when it came to the whole AD thing with Darvin Ham, them wanting him to shoot three to five threes a game. Like, bro, he's bailing out the defense, shooting all those shots. And I feel like Carl Anthony Towns, in certain moments, is like the same way, you know, in these series, especially against the Mavericks, you know, games one and two, you know, he was selling for all these jump shots. They weren't falling. So when they're not falling, I feel like you should do like an AD or an Embiid, man. Get your shot right. Get on that block and punish the defense, you know, because you having a skill set has never been the problem. The problem has been your mental and you being wanting to be that dog and that leader. So hopefully with Ewing in the building, I'm not saying I know some people might say, man, Ewing, man, that style of play, they don't play like that no more, man. That back to the basket stuff, man, that is played out. You're right. You know, we're playing a positionless league now, but sometimes you need that back to the basket. You need to slow the game, especially in the playoffs. You need to slow that game down like Joker or Embiid does. You know what I'm saying? Have the You're killing, have the double team come and make easier shots for everybody else. He has that ability. And, you know, so I feel like if he gets that mentality, if Ewing can work with him, man, and let him know, Cat, you're just as good as these other big man, bro. Like, stop selling, bro. Get in your bag and have that mindset that nobody on this fucking court can stop you. And I need you to play that way. You're seven foot, my boy. Play like it. Stop playing like a guard. If Ewing can get him into that mindset, because I can already tell him being around Anthony Edwards, those coaches, that his mindset did change in this recent playoffs. You know, I was one of those viewers that was like, man, Carl Anthony Towns, man, I like him. He can hoop. But, like, when it comes to the playoffs, he's just soft. He's not ever going to change from being soft. He doesn't want it bad enough. And I seen glimpses of that last year, him wanting it, him being a little bit of a dog. So, hopefully, with Ewing, Ewing was a dog in his era. Hopefully, he can put that mindset into Cat's head. Hey, we can see the best product of Cat this year because, like I said, he does have the skill set. That's not, he's not lacking when it comes in that area. But I pretty much want to know what you guys think. Do you think this is a good move? Do you think, man, you ain't, man, you're past your time, bro. Nobody cares about that. This is a whole new era. You know what I'm saying? Let me know all this in the comment section. Again, don't forget to like up the video and subscribe if you're new and love NBA takes and NBA news. And y'all already know who it is.